Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to watching me lose at Pathfinder Adventures. I did fail my first attempt at Scenario 5, Adventure 1, or Adventure 5, Scenario 1. I didn't fail at all in Adventure Deck 4, but then my first one out of the gate in Adventure Deck 5, boom, was a failure. It was unfortunate. It was caused by a couple of factors. One is the damn ability of the villain that he has to be defeated twice, which is super duper annoying, and I hate that. I think it's bad game design. The other really, though, was the hand size. I hope I don't get that. God damn it. Ah, the hand size. Okay. If I fail this time, I will start to mulligan this hand size thing. And this thing is worse than the other thing I had. The other thing I had last time was that um, when you find like an ally or a spell or a spell or a blessing or some shit, you're at your turn ends. This is obviously a lot worse. So this is going to be really difficult because I had about as good of a time as I could get. I found the villain. All I had to do was close some locations and be in position to defeat him and then keep pounding the location but i couldn't even defeat him well, i could defeat him once but i couldn't i was not able to defeat him twice because uh kira couldn't draw a second blessing because of the damn lower hand size well i'm hoping sila starts this one with the weapon in her hand because jesus that would make things a lot easier uh ezrin will start in the halls of wrath so only can go to the dungeon i feel like my positioning was fine i didn't really have any issues with it i guess now kira can start in the cathedral instead of going to the town square because she's already banished some cards and I'm not particularly concerned about any more hand improvements. So please, Sila, please, please, please. Can you start with a weapon in your hand? I really need you. There we go. Okay. Oh, thank God. All right, I have a chance now. Because one of the problems was Sila getting hung up in the shrine for the entire scenario. And part of the reason for that was that she didn't have any weapons. All right, there's this asshole. So I'm going to be fighting him right up front as well as a uh, Hound of Lemish 2. Let's just see, did anyone get scrying? You did. You know what? Uh, Ezrin has augury, so he can augur his own damn location. I'm going to scry away that goblin. Now, the more that I can avoid fighting monsters and fighting those extra hounds, the better. Okay, so this is nice. We get rid of the disjunction. Well, we shuffle the disjunction pulse, and we got rid of two of the three monsters here. So, um, I guess my main concern is that I find the disjunction pulse and then um, end up shuffling this location. But I get a little bit of luck. Okay. Okay, we got weapons. We can flip cards without worrying about losing weapons. We can kill this thing. Everything's gonna be okay. All right, shock glide or spike chain. I guess we'll go for the spike chain. And flip a card. And you're gonna shoot, I guess, the cape of escape. 79%. Oh, yeah. Let's poog it up right here. Get that up to 95%. All right, we're going to take that 95% roll. Okay, that was a little scary. But now, uh, for this, um, I'll flip a card and Hail Mary it, I guess. Losing my cure in the process. Okay, I'm going to just bury my armor to not have to care about this thing. I'll flip another card to Hail Mary this check to try to make the closing check not so hard. And my Hail Mary actually worked. Wow. All right. So I will um, just do this and flip another card. I don't care about flipping cards. I've got weapons. I don't care if I lose anything else. But maybe if I get a high enough roll, which I didn't, I wouldn't have had to bury the armor. This is not worth re-rolling, though, because... Actually, I'll re-roll it. Sure. If I get... What am I rolling? A D8? No, this is not worth re-rolling. I'm gonna just fail it and uh, bury this armor. Okay, let's close this place off. Let's flip another card. Nice, getting lots of blessings flipped. And I'm just gonna take those 95% odds. I thought that was a 1 for a second, but that was a 9 over there. Oh my god, I have a chance. Alright, now the problem is, of course, the last time I got lucky because I found the villain pretty fast. And because I found the villain, I, you know didn't have to worry about bumping into him here i'm hoping to get lucky again with scouting information and bump into the and, and bump into the villain with a scout so i don't have to fight him my deathbane shield like all shields is terrible so of course i pick it up um this is a shit ass hand uh, i'm gonna get rid of this shield and the stupid headband <sighs> and i guess i'll use the staff of healing to recharge away the headband seems kind of lame because i don't actually want the headband but you know at least it'll get my hand cleared up. I really do need to draw through. Okay, let's go ahead and cast Augury here. Hoping to find some monsters. That was unbelievably unlucky. This place is swarming with monsters. 8 out of 11 cards are monsters, and I only got one of them. 
which really sucks. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I guess, pop the Sleepless Detective here, because I don't actually want to fight that much. Oh, never mind, invisibility. Never mind, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I was gonna say I didn't want to fight much, because I only have one combat spell, but now I can evade the Hound. Still, though, let's just do this. I might get lucky and find the villain or a henchman or something. I don't. All right. In fact, the Enchanter is very frustrating because I don't want to take damage as Ezrin. All right, we'll do the Enchantress later. This thing I cannot get. Um, but I guess I'll just keep it on top. And then end my turn. All right. She... will scry a location. I want to scry someplace that has people. So there's three monsters there. That's probably the... There's also three monsters there. I guess those are both pretty good places to scry. I want to, I want to scry a place that has people, so if the villain is found, the scrying is not undone. But yeah, let's do it. Let's scry, I guess, um... Harsk's place. All right, we only get one monster, unfortunately. Not the best luck with the auguries. So I've got good luck with Sila closing a location turn one, but my auguries have not been super terrific. And I got a combat booster. I got two spells, so I'm fine with exploring. Find traps. Um, I don't particularly care about banishing spells, so I guess we'll keep this. This is something I can use to, um, to, to use as a fireball, basically. I have to discard a card, so I'm going to just discard a Blessing to explore. Elven Breastplate, not the greatest. So that'll be that. Alright. Can't really use Papa Xantis yet. Kira's up here. She also has a weapon. Okay. Now I have to make sure I always hang on to a Blessing to banish to close this place. So i got to be very careful about this. Let's go ahead and discard the Golem. Oh, I got rid of a good Blessing. God darn it. And then I'm going to walk into a monster. Yep, okay, so the goblin would have killed the monster. Instead, nothing good happens. Um, let's, I guess, try to use a weapon. I'm not going to spend any resources here, but I'll Hail Mary it. All right, so that's cool. I can use a weapon. And with this, I'm fine. Because I, I have a reroll on this. I can re discard it to reroll if need be. So that kind of sucked. Um, now I'm fighting the Hound of Lamish 2, which is always a very annoying prospect. Oh, God. All right, let's discard the Dog Slicer. Harsk needs to help. So I got one thing. I guess I don't really care that much about the monkey. Hmm. I guess more help is needed, so we're going to do an Incendiary Cloud and hope that that's enough. Good. All right, I'm going to hang on to this because I needed to close the location. I don't actually have any blessings in there, unfortunately. Okay, she got another blessing, nice, Harsk's up. All right, what we have here is, we don't know. So I guess I'm gonna eagle, because I don't have my crown of charisma yet, because uh, I haven't drawn it yet. There's no particular wise behind it. I just don't have my crown of charisma yet, which is kind of what I'm counting on to close this place. So I wanted to make sure that that was not the final henchman. And what I'm gonna do here is play a little bit of footsie. I'm gonna recharge this dagger and recharge this black arrow ranger to hopefully kill this shadow. And then, when I fight the Hound, my hand is empty. Oh, I actually ended up not having to fight the Hound, but my hand was empty, so even if the Hound had blasted me full frontal, I would have been okay. Now I can start scouting Skinsaw Ritual. Not the end of the world. That's just one Skinsaw cultist, I believe, that needs to get far, but I didn't get a weapon. Uh-oh! boo. Ouch. I am not particularly excited about that. Not in the slightest. Mm. Oh, God, so we're going to have to fight a freaking thing. God, I'm getting so tired of that. All right, well, da -da -da, flip a card. Da -da -da. I have a reroll, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I'm going to cast Mascure after all this. I guess I'm going to Hail Mary. I'm going to flip a card, Hail Mary, and just try not to fight this thing. I only get D4s added on. Nethys. Yeah. So, Hail Mary time. And I actually got it, so I avoid the Hound. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's cast the Mask here. So both characters at this location heal some cards, which is kind of nice, actually. Got some decent healing going on. Of course, I got the big heal on Sione and the little one on Sila, which was the opposite of how I would have liked it to be, but it's fine. 
And let's hail Mary for a chance to reroll this mask here, or recharge this mask here. We got it, very good. I'll stop there. I don't particularly want to do this location too much. There's an enchanter. Okay, uh, let's take a quick look at it. This is force and fire. So see, only takes one, but not the other. It's better than nothing. I forgot to give the black arrow ranger to Harsk. God darn, I knew I was forgetting something. Well, great club plus three. This is actually pretty darn good. Yeah, let's see if I can pick it up. What is this? Gorum. Anybody got a Gorum for me? Rechargeable? Debo? Nope. Okay. Well, Amiri will just say that those who have helped themselves get the most help from whoever the fuck. And now, that's nice because you really want extra weapons here since you're fighting all those henchmen. And it's kind of hard to defeat them. Okay, Ezrin is in the Halls of Wrath. There's some annoying shit going on here, that's for damn sure. But let's make some progress. Let's get rid of that sword. And now, on our next turn, we're gonna have to fight this sleeping, shining child. Does this thing have any bullshit? Fire and poison. Okay, I've got force and acid, so I guess I'm good. And we're gonna end the turn. Alright, Sione is looking up at an enchantress. Alright, that's fine. She's pretty healthy, so we're gonna discard once. I guess I don't need... You know what? No, I, I don't need fine traps. That's, that's a little bit of a, you know fancy card. I just really, really want to um, hang on to as many combat spells as possible given all this, this hound action going on. Okay, so we're gonna fight the hound next using a poison blast. And hopefully it'll be enough with Harsk's help. Oh, right. Sila needs to actually make this check as well. It doesn't matter for her. It's not her turn. All right. So Poison Blast? What are we doing here? 75%. Man. Even with a Poison Blast, it's only 75%. That's tough. Now, why did I roll a 92% chance? That was very loose. I should not have done that. I right, got a Necklace of Fireballs. I'm going to keep going because I have this Papa Santas I'm just itching to use. This thing is nifty. I like this a lot, but it's a bit, I mean, it's fancy, uh, it's its not reusable, I don't really want to spend that much effort getting it. And I'm gonna just, God, do I just do this right now? No, I, I'm gonna save that. I think I want to get full value from it, and I think like I could, given some time, get more value out of it. Alright, this is a nice pickup. Um, I guess the Wisdom's better than the Divine? Really? Deep 10, plus 3? Oh, I guess it's the same thing. Okay, well, we'll just roll and hope for the best. Two dice to close the location is interesting. What do I want to banish, though? I guess I'll banish the Blemish Stew, I think. And that's what's going to happen. All right, so this Wisdom check is going to get failed. This Hound is going to get fought. All right, just recharging away all your cards. Incendiary Cloud, good. Got anything over here? Phrasma. Yeah, I'm gonna use this. I really need to kill this guy. And I don't want to discard this to reroll it because I don't know when I'm gonna get another weapon. Now, for this, I'm just gonna let my armor eat it up. For this, I will just let him wreck my face. I mean, I'll stick the long spear out there just in case I get some kind of crazy high roll. I do have the incendiary cloud, so it's possible that I roll high enough that I can actually recharge the armor and recharge the medallion. I even have a 34% chance of making it, which isn't the worst thing. I only missed it by two. Nice. I don't want to reroll that. And I'm going to just recharge this armor. Wait, no. I'm stupid. No, 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 no. I'm going to recharge the medallion. Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to hold on to the armor because that way I can full out block another hound. Wow. I got my one in 10 chance of recharging it. That's potentially going to come in handy. And we're going to close this place. I'm going to keep the gauze because I think it's nice in this scenario to be able to get an extra die to close a location. Okay. That was good. And I guess I never put a blessing in my discard, so. Oh no, it did it automatically, didn't it? Right, okay. Never mind. Because I discarded a blessing to explore, I think. Alright, Wand of Innervation's a nice pickup. Okay. She got the Club of Machmurian, that's nice. What is here? Skin Saw Ritual. And this is. Yeah, I don't want to fight those things right now. Oh man, I messed it up. You know what? I messed it up. This thing is banished no matter what. And so if I could have recharged away all my cards, then uh, I wouldn't have dealt with it. Although, on the other hand, the Crown of Christmas is something I want to hang on to in my hand, so never mind. All right, I think Harsk is just going to eagle it up. 
I'm going to do some Eagle Scouting and hope to get a weapon from the deck. Um, what place do I care about? I guess I already know Ezrin's. Let's take a look at this old light. It's a door spike. And this is... It can be Dexterity. All right. All right. Let's not waste the turn. Let's go here and do this Dexterity stuff. So I'll examine it. It's a Dexterity 16. I really need to, like, look at the numbers and think about them. Because it was a Dexterity 12. So like, oh, 12's not that bad. But I don't have any double blessings. Oh, Lord. All right. Well, 56% is what's happening. I can't do 56%. All right. 89 is going to have to just make do. Oh, my God. That's so... Every, everything is terrible. Oh, God. So what happened now is I lost my Crown of Charisma, and I lost my Improved Guidance, too. I didn't have enough blessings to make that a good check. I didn't have any double blessings, and I lose this crown. So it's really bad because that was how I was planning on closing the prison. Now Harsk is just awful at the prison. I don't even want him there. Oh, shit. Warhammer plus two. Okay, that's not that great. Oh my god, this is not good. Alright, so you're at Thessalonian Dungeon. Sunburst. Ooh, that's an attack spell in deck five. This is a divine attack. Divine skill plus 3d8. That's actually worth using. Oh my god, 3d12. That's that's like an upgraded holy light. Well, didn't get it. We got a fire sneeze, though. This is a pretty decent one, though. This is a d12. Oh, man, at this point, it's not good enough. But what's nice is that... Yeah, no, this is actually not good anymore. Shoot, it used to be the top top dog, but this is just a little bit too bad at this point. All right, I'm gonna go again with the Black Arrow Ranger. Wand of Garbage. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some strategic discards here because I really need to try to get through as much stuff as possible. Man, I just never get lucky. All right, uh, this is terrible. That's a really tough one. It's a Dexterity 17. Christ. Um, yeah, that's a tough one. Don't, so I haven't found the villain. I've closed two locations. I'm already halfway out of time. And I'm still struggling to make any kind of progress on any front. All right, so that's what's happening. Um, let's do the Impaler, I guess. I can re-roll it with my 78% chance. I guess Harsk can shoot at a thing. Make sure this ghost dies, and then I have to fight the henchman. I am going to discard one of these weapons on this check, though, because I do want to get them out of my hand. So I can draw into more blessings and maybe some extra explorations. It would be nice. 58% even after discarding a weapon. That's the world that we live in. Alright, let's get rid of the Deathbane. 87 is just going to have to do. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Well, I blocked one of the damage, but I still hand wiped. So now I have no weapons. And, uh... I didn't get any weapons. This is... Looking pretty difficult. Oh my god. Okay, so I guess we're gonna do this, and I guess... Oh, 26 combat. My fucking Christ. Alright, so I guess we're gonna do a Flask of Shock to help out here. And a Force Bolt. 99% odds. Alright, Ezrin, way to take this down yourself, but almost fail, despite 1 in 100 chance of failing. Uh, okay, let's take a look at this. Lightning Bolt. Yibbity bibbity. Okay. This, this is going worse than last time, and last time was pretty bad. I've closed two locations at halftime. I've had some unfortunate losses of resources. And, um, I haven't found in the villain. So, uh, it's just not looking so good. I don't know what else to say. So, unfortunately, now I can haste into an enchantress, enchantress and lose two cards. I'd have to lose stride on the Staff of Heaven and Earth. Alright, we're doing it. I gotta, I gotta make some progress somewhere. So, um, let's recharge that. Maybe get a Siege and a Medallion? Nope, there's the block on the Sage, so I'm done with the extra cards for now. Now, we have to discard some stuff. I should be able to kill her with a Lightning Bolt. Barely! Oh, wow, Esrin. You're really liking to, uh... Play some loosey-goosey there with your combat encounters. And I'm going to then discard my Staff of Heaven and Earth because as tempting as it is to keep that card, there's no barriers in this location, and I definitely want all the combat cards I can manage. All right, so at this point, I don't actually care if I make this check or not because my hand's empty. So uh, the Hound can punch my feeble wizard body all it wants to. Although this is the time where I turned it up. 
and actually beat the guy. Okay. So the situation is I'm at half time, I haven't found the villain. If I stumble into the villain, I lose because the villain won't actually be defeated. Um, I still could possibly win if I scout the villain in a location and some other locations close soon. So I need the henchman to be near the top. All right, got a Medusa mask. So if Ezrin finds the villain specifically, we can get rid of it. This thing is a 17 check. Good God. Who has blessings? You have an eagle. You have nothing. You have nothing. You have nothing. You have a blessing. Does this give you dexterity by any chance? It's wisdom. Okay. So there's uh, one dexterity we can add. On dexterity 17. It, I just can't make this. This is... Even with a troubadour. I'm rolling 2d10 and a d6 plus 1. It's not good enough. Um, what else is there to do? I guess she can go in here and fight somebody? Alright. That's, that's what's happening. And hopefully we get some more blessings? I don't even know. Animal Bane, Dog Slicer. La di da. I'm gonna do the Troubadour here because I've got Papa Xantis that desperately needs to be used. So let's just fight, fight, fight. So one of these is gonna have to be the uh, Necklace of Fireballs and one of them is gonna have to be Firebolt. I guess we'll do Fiery Bolt on this one. And Necklace of Fireballs and the Wand of Enervation on the other one. God, I have to bury a Lemish to make this. So we charge that, and then fail the stealth check, of course. Okay, fail the wisdom check, naturally. And it's time for Wand of Innervation. So we're going to decrease the difficulty by my trademark 8. Then, um, uh, okay. Hello? I'd like to use this necklace of fireballs, please. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Really? This this, this is what we're gonna do now? Motherfucker. Alright, well, I guess I have to discard it then. For this. And uh, play an orb of fire to make sure that I make this check, because if I fail, I lose Papa Xantis, which would be sad. That was annoying, though. I should definitely not have lost the necklace of fireballs there. I should have been able to actually use it for its ability. Note the recharge check is harder than usual because of this hound, but I made it anyways. Now we can finally pop the Z. Get all my cards back, including the necklace that was unjustly taken from me by a bug. And... And Sayoni's turn. She doesn't have any combat spells. Oh, that's not... that's not happy. Alright, Kira is the only person who, besides Scylla, closed the location. I guess she's going here. It kind of sucks that she and Amiri have to fight. Um, if we find a monster, hopefully it's not a monster. Good. Extra armor's not bad. I actually am going to just hang on to it. I'm going to get rid of my inferior weapon and I'm gonna keep both armor so I can just use them to block the hounds. Okay. Harsk is up. Now he can actually do the skin saw ritual. And I guess I should first put the eagle back on top, just in case this goes badly. Let's take a look at the top. Uh, no, I already know what that is. Okay, let's look at the top of the old light. Yeah. No, actually, let's look at the top of the garrison. That way I know if it's safe to explore or not. There we go. That's a good move. It's a hill giant, so not safe to explore for Amiri. Okay, we're going to get this skin saw ritual done. 68. Oh. Fuck. It's so bad when everything is increased by four. Uh, 89%, I guess, is gonna have to just fucking do it. It's just gonna have to do it, Harsk. You're just gonna have to deal. Thank you. Thank you for stepping up to the plate. All right, let's go ahead and scout. Find the villain? Yeah, no. Uh, this guy's pretty nifty, but uh, I'm not gonna care about getting him. It's definitely too difficult to do that and actually win the scenario. We managed to get the Orb of Magic to stick around. That's nice. Okay. So now we're back around to the top. It's still a crushing door. Okay. So I still don't want to face it with someone whose dexterity is a d4. Let's heal some cards with my Poultice and think about what I could possibly do that's useful. Well, I could go to the Hall of Wrath. Or I can go to the prison, which she's not actually bad at closing. Maybe I'll spread out a little bit. Let's go to the prison. Why didn't I... Wait, did I... Oh my god, I just didn't realize that Sioni 
Ah, shit, I messed up. I should not have had Sayoni go to the, um... What's her face? The, uh... Halls of Wrath. I shouldn't have had her go there. I just shouldn't have. Because she could have gone down here, and she's actually good at closing this place. She could have even fought the frickin' Skinsaw Ritual. Alright, well, she can't really use that, so I guess we'll go again. There's Muck Grawl, everybody's favorite Muck. Let's go ahead and flip some shit. Uh, bemoan the fact that nothing helps. I guess I'll use your own blessing. Okay. Wait a minute, is this not defeated? Oh, God. If it doesn't have the fi- oh, shit. Oh, my God. Well, I couldn't have had the fire trait. There was no way, but I shouldn't have spent the blessing on it. Wait, what? Why, why is Harsk fighting a mock crawl? Oh, if an undefeated, another ca- God, seriously? I should have at least stuck my bow out. I didn't even realize what was happening. I just, like, clicked a button. Wait, why is Harsk fighting a mock crawl? What is going on here? Oh, my God. Does this just keep happening? Is this, is this, is this forever? Oh, it's forever. Oh my god, it's fucking forever. Oh, I, I've just, I guess I've never really encountered this enemy before or something? Or something? Wait, but it's undefeated. But that can't be right. What if you can't get the fire trait? Does that mean that you can just never defeat it? Um, what? What? Why is it on top of the deck? What? <laughs> <laughs> that, no, that can't be right, because that means that you're screwed, like, if you're... And yeah, now it's back to Sila's turn. Oh, that was hysterical. That was just a laugh romp of a comedy. Ah, uh, can we move? Oh, right, she can't reach that. She can only reach the garrison, which is a monster on top. Well, there's no point fighting Muck Grawl, so I guess we're gonna go get the Warhammer. Fuck. The ridiculousness is through the roof today. All right, I'm not going to flip any more cards because I'm kind of starting to run low. I don't want to get rid of weapons or armor, so I guess we'll just stop. Scout and find the villain. No, it's some other dumb, annoying monster. Okay, okay. We got one blessing. Um, I can't fight a hill giant. I got nine. You know what? I'm going to forfeit. I'm going to forfeit, guys. Sorry. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe. I'm done. I'm just totally done with this. The hand size and the henchmen are just too much for me to take. So from now on, I'm going to be mulliganing the um, hand size wild card. <sighs> Do I want to mulligan any other wild cards? I'm not sure. I guess long spear needs to go. Fire sneeze tragically really does need to go, although it's so nifty. Pyromaniac Mage, maybe? I mean, it's better than an Encanter, isn't it? 1d6, 1d6 plus 1. Yeah, it's definitely better. Um, fail Tamros, you suck at this point. So I guess we'll keep the Encanter, give it to that. Find Traps is junk. Amiri, don't want a shield. Great Club plus 3 is better than Bastard Sword plus 1. Uh, Elven Breastplate, I guess, is gone. Blessing of Gauzer, that'd be a nice one for someone to have. Let's get rid of... A regular God's Blessing. And, yeah. Wait, but does Kira have anything worse than a Bastard Sword plus one? Yes, the Dog Slicer. Okay, so let's do that. And I think now we are we are for real good. Yep, okay. Oh, yeah. Sila needed to give a Black Arrow Ranger to Harsk. So let's do that before I forget. And have, hopefully, better luck next time. Do, 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 do. Yep. Yep. Um, I guess the monkey... Well, I don't want Sila to have the monkey. The monkey I want Ezrin to have. So it doesn't matter that he has Poog, so I can give Poog to Sila. Who gets rid of a troubadour. Wait, why does Sila have the Black Arrow Ranger? What the hell? Okay. Harsk? Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, 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 we got it. All right, thanks, guys. I'll see you soon.